yeah, this was a, definitely an opportunity for for us to at least get one, and, uh, and our guys did that. I thought it was important for our team at that time to get that confidence. I thought our power play was actually very good tonight. You know, we had a post, missed a couple of real good scoring chances, and uh, as far as I was concerned, if we uh, uh, work our power play the way we worked it tonight, uh, we're going to be okay. Coach James Murphy, ESPN Boston, up coming. You just talk about the game Char had, and when he has a game like that, how much the team just falls. Yeah, I think he was good, and obviously, you know, we keep talking about him and uh, uh, Seidenberg has been certainly one of those guys that you throw into that uh, equation, and uh, those guys have been so strong for us, not only as a pair, but also as individuals, and, uh, you know, as you saw, Zidane's shot is one that uh, certainly uh, goaltenders don't like to see, and uh, he's got that ability, and uh, tonight I thought he used it well. Uh, Doug Flynn, this night, Tom. Coach, you guys have dominated the face-off circle line tonight. Talk a little about how poor that was to sort of control possession and to sort of start off each other sort of possession there or what control there. Well, no doubt face-offs are, are important and, uh, you know, we obviously had the advantage of uh, putting our sticks down last. That's the home ice advantage that uh, becomes very important uh, when it comes to that part of the game. Our uh, guys did a great job. Uh, we started with the puck. It's a lot easier than chasing it down and uh, our guys did Great job of that tonight, and uh, I thought it was important, especially against that team that uh, uh, they got some good face-off uh, plays uh, in the offensive zone, and uh, they can become very dangerous. So, you know, uh, our centermen did a great job, and even uh, the other guys were recovering those uh, loose pucks in the battles. Claude, Jimmy Gold from the Associated Press. Uh, you guys had a, a dominant corner tonight. How do you build up that confidence with still the knowledge of what happened last year and knowing that you still were? That's because we don't really think about last year. Uh, we think about this year, and the, uh, the one thing that's important for us is is one game at a time, and we really focus that way. And tonight's game is over. If anything, you got to build on that. You got to know that you got to be as good, if not better. You know, uh, uh, we understood the importance of this game tonight, and uh, we knew how hard they were going to come out if we weren't ready to face that. And because uh, we were in that position against Montreal, and. Uh, we knew the feeling of being down to nothing and, and what that third game meant. So uh, I think we were better pre prepared because of that. And uh, obviously that helped us uh, get off to a good start. And obviously those early goals certainly uh, that gave us a little bit more control as far as our destiny was concerned tonight. Scott McLaughlin, WEI.com. Uh, can you just talk about how important it was for your team to continue to pressure them on the fourth check uh, even after getting up to nothing? Yeah, I think we, you know, we, we still lots of hockey left, and uh, it was important for us to keep playing our game and not all of a sudden go into a shell or chip back. And uh, they're a team that's a very good offensively, and if you give them some space or if you sit back, they're going to make you pay for it. So our guys uh, did a great job of, uh, of probably being better in, in a four check. And uh, you know, our third man high was there. We didn't give out, out as many outnumbered situations. Our D were very aware of their uh, of their guy trying to stretch us out. Coach, you have a mall strong guys for tonight. Is this one of the most complete games that you guys have played quite some time? Uh, I don't know if it was the most complete, but it was really one of those solid games uh, where, you know, I thought it in all areas defensively. You know, uh, tonight's one of those nights where I think you look at the number of shots, but, uh, you know, scoring chance was definitely uh, down. And uh, I think, uh, you know, a lot of them in the third period came from the outside. They were crashing and then hoping to get those rebounds. So. You know, I liked our defensive game, how, we, how well we played, and uh, also the forecheck and the chances we created. So uh, it's up there, no doubt. So, uh, you know, for me, I thought, I thought our guys were responding well and played a, a solid game. Two rows with all the help of hockey. You obviously uh, got a three-on-two goal from uh, the PIA line. Just talk about uh, their contributions tonight. Well, obviously, they, they were a good line for us tonight, and uh, you know, no doubt uh, you know, that, that goal against... Uh, kind of stung them a little bit, but uh, you know we had a chat with them after the second period, and uh, they had done everything right. And there was one little mistake made on the play, but uh, they came out and they still had a couple of good opportunities to score as well. Uh, Soupy had a couple of good chances in tight, so uh, they, they did a great job, especially in the offensive zone. They kept the puck in and uh, and they made some plays. So uh, you know again, this is a line that we've uh, counted on all year. It's also a line that we think is a uh, is, is one of the better fourth lines that uh, we've seen in the league, and uh, when we need them, they're there for us. Uh, club back down with Rose Block. Um, now that this game is over and you've won it, maybe you'd be willing to reveal this. 
Did you get any feeling from your team before this game started of any tension, any pressure with, with the two of you coming home and all that? No, not really. Uh, I'd say this morning we were a little bit quieter than uh, we had been in the past in our morning skate. And uh, basically trying to figure out whether it was uh, guys just being really focused or, uh, or, or the other uh, part of it, whether we weren't uh, as sharp as uh, we had been. But uh, I think they answered that question pretty quickly at the start of the game. They came in tonight. I, I, liked, I liked our demeanor uh, when the guys showed up for the game tonight, so we felt a lot more comfortable. And, uh, you know, they proved that they were ready. It was important for us to have a good first period, and, uh, and they went out there and, and, uh, and did the job.